Richard, yes. the conference has been fascinating. It has, yes. Uh, what's, what's your initial impression? Uh, my initial impression, it was nice to be in a room with people who really know what they're talking about. Yeah. Um, I think Fred and I are the two most stupid people. <laughs> <laughs> stupid people. Oh. <laughs> Listen, you've been uh, on social media, you've been amazing, so don't, don't put yourself down. So, um, but it's, uh, the, the only thing that one person touched on it, which I think is a really an issue that's sort of been skirted around a little bit, which is to do with whether we believe the government or the opposition are doing their best mm. um, for, and for the right reasons. And I'm not convinced that that's true. Um, I, I certainly think that there's been a huge vacuum of advice right from the, right from the very beginning, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, what's the impact been on the, uh, the entertainment industry for college? Well, well, we've lost a year and a half of work. I don't know, Fred and I don't know any musician in the UK uh, personally that's had any money, any money from the government at all. Uh -huh. So if we didn't, we write, so we get some pipe publishing money, so that's keeping the wolf from the door. But we've lost, you know, a, a year and a half of work. Yeah. Um, um, it's, the thing that has been most shocking to me is the speed, it's the lack of, of support that the, the entertainment industry and performers has given it. And it's not just musicians, it could be dancers, it could be, it could be anything, it could be crew, it could be anything. Um, I've written to the MU and they've said, well, they're doing their bit you know, behind the scenes and everything else. And I don't think that's enough. Yeah. I think they need to have a big bang at MU, you know, against oppression or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's feet on the street, that's what counts. Yeah. Um, and it, it, you know, getting, getting a few faces there would be great. But then you get people like Springsteen and the Foo Fighters, you know, doing vaccinated only gigs. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really that, depressing. That awful video that was doing the yeah, yeah. 15 yeah. brilliant comedians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I know. Yeah. yeah. But given the fact that the, the, the NHS is what uh, has had a th an additional 50 billion yep. spent over the last yep. year yep. Uh, for these ridiculous policies like yep. track and trace, yeah, yeah, yeah. discussed here this morning. Yeah. It does kind of point out the fact that you know this is a government that is fundamentally mishandling this crisis, isn't it? They have, they appear to be rudderless. Well, the, may, my what my question is whether that's a designed thing mm. you know if you if they look chaotic you kind of put it down to bad management when actually they do know what they're what they're saying mm. and right at the very beginning of this when we had Trudeau and Johnson and Merkel and one or two others using those you know build back better phrase it wasn't coincidental yeah it wasn't coincidental and I thought that the, my my suspicions were aroused the minute I saw that yeah. and I thought this is not this is not chaotic yeah this is this is planned much more than we think yeah and, yeah. and Nick Hudson this morning really touched yeah. on that you know there is a kind of in, I think he's right there. Yeah. I think he is right. Um, but I think it's underpinned by people with vast amounts of money and ill will. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I, th I think people need to... I mean, I, I talk about this all the time. Right back in the day when we talked about um, seat belts, I know it's a really stupid thing to say, yeah. but when you buy a car, you buy the interior of the car too. That's your space. And we allowed the state into that space by telling us to wear seat belts. I'm not against seat belts. I think they're a good idea. But that's what we did. And gradually, since that time, we've allowed the state in, in, incrementally to make its presence felt in our daily lives um, and I, th that, I think that's this is the this is where you end up yeah. in the state telling you where you know, arrows look at that down there yeah, social distancing absolutely. please do this please do that yeah it's um, it's 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 wrong it's just it's just it's fundamentally wrong. wrong. But hopefully the new era, and starting today, will be we're going to reduce the size of the state back down to well, where, it's, well, where it should be. The state needs putting back in its box. It There's is. no doubt it about it. A absolutely. I mean, my fear now is, for certainly for businesses um, and for mental health and all that, if there's another lockdown in the autumn, which, which they are talking about, um, it's, going to be a, it's going to be catastrophic. And of course, the furlough money was just hush money. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and that's all it was. It and it's our money. Yeah. I mean, you know, when, when I think it was um, uh, Luke Johnson's talked about the government doing this, and the government doing that with money. It's our money. Yeah. yeah so, so the government have no money. They, we pay them. We forget that they are our servants. We, we tend to de defer to them the whole time. And that's not, we, we, you know, the, the people are in control. We own everything. We pay for everything. Absolutely. And, and of course, they're borrowing bucket oh, loads in our name. Absolutely. And, the, you know, there are generations as yet unborn who will bear the brunt of this. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I'd hate to be, you know, 10 now. I mean, you, you know, as a 10 year old, you run around and you don't know what's going on but by the time you're 20 
Absolutely. It's going to be a nightmare. And there was a, a theme, really, that children were, were, were suffering mm. the, the consequences of this. They're, yeah. they're the chopping block. Yes. They? They're, they're, they're the ones who are really suffering and yeah. their futures are being devastated. Uh, exactly. Well, Neil Oliver made a really good point about the vaccination of children to protect adults. And, he's, and he asked the question, what kind of adult would stand behind a wall of children for protection? Absolutely. And that's absolutely true. You know? Richard, it's been a pleasure. And listen, keep up the good work Thank on you very social much. media. Thank you. It's inspirational. <laughs> Thank and, you. And, and you're you know, you're, you've hopefully will inspire others in well, the industry to yeah. come out and start saying something. Yeah, well, you know, on the 24th of July in London, there's a big march, as you probably know. So I would ask every musician out there, every performer, every singer, every crew member that's, la that's out of work as a consequence of this to be on the march. Brilliant. Feet on the street. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Thank you very much.